Some fun facts about the moon. The moon is Earth's only natural satellite. It has a diameter of about 3,474 kilometers, 2,159 miles, making it about one-fourth the size of Earth. The average distance between the moon and Earth is approximately 384,400 kilometers, 238,900 miles. The moon has a rugged, cratered surface with highlands and lowlands. The highlands, known as terrae, are heavily cratered and composed mainly of rocks called anorthosite. The lowlands, known as maria, singular, mare, are large, dark, basaltic plains formed by ancient volcanic activity. The moon's gravity is about one-sixth that of Earth's gravity. This lower gravity allows objects on the moon to weigh much less compared to Earth. For example, a person weighing 60 kilograms, 132 pounds, on Earth would weigh only about 10 kilograms, 22 pounds, on the moon. The moon goes through different phases as it orbits around the Earth. The primary phases are new moon, first quarter, full moon, and last quarter. These phases result from the changing position of the moon relative to the Earth and the Sun, causing different amounts of sunlight to be reflected back to Earth. The moon is tidally locked with Earth, meaning it takes the same amount of time to rotate once on its axis as it does to complete one orbit around Earth. As a result, we always see the same side of the moon from Earth, which is often referred to as that near side. The moon experiences moonquakes, which are similar to earthquakes but with different causes. Moonquakes can be caused by tidal forces exerted by Earth, impacts from meteoroids, or the cooling and contraction of the moon's interior. Unlike Earth, the moon has virtually no atmosphere. It has only an extremely thin exosphere, which consists of scattered atoms and molecules. This lack of atmosphere means there is no weather, wind, or significant protection from the harsh space environment. The moon has been the target of various space missions. The first manned mission to land on the moon was Apollo 11 in 1969, with astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin becoming the first humans to walk on its surface. Since then, several other missions have followed, gathering valuable scientific data and samples. In recent years, there has been renewed interest in returning to the moon. Various space agencies, including NASA, ESA, and others, have planned missions to establish a sustainable human presence on the Moon and use it as a stepping stone for future exploration of Mars and beyond. A lunar eclipse occurs when the Earth comes between the Sun and the Moon, casting a shadow on the Moon's surface. During a total lunar eclipse, the moon can take on a reddish hue due to sunlight bending through Earth's atmosphere, a phenomenon known as the blood moon. The lunar surface is covered in a layer of fine dust called regolith. Moon dust is made up of tiny glass beads and fine rock particles created by the constant bombardment of micrometeoroids over millions of years. It poses challenges to human exploration as it can be abrasive and cling to spacesuits and equipment. While traces of water have been discovered on the moon, it is relatively scarce. 
However, there are regions near the lunar poles that are in permanent shadow, where water ice has been detected. This discovery has implications for future manned missions as water can be used for life support and fuel production. The moon's surface is pockmarked with countless impact craters. These craters were formed by the collision of meteoroids and asteroids with the moon over billions of years. Some of the largest craters include the South Pole Aitken Basin and the Imbrium, Serenitatis, and Chrysium Basins. The moon has evidence of past volcanic activity. Basaltic lava flowed to the surface and filled large impact craters, creating the dark, smooth plains called Maria. The most well-known lunar volcano is Mons Huygens, also known as the Lunar Dome, located in the Oceanus Procellarum region. The Moon plays a significant role in stabilizing Earth's axial tilt, which contributes to the stability of our planet's climate and seasons. Additionally, the Moon's gravitational pull influences ocean tides on Earth. The Apollo missions carried lunar rovers, also known as moon buggies, to allow astronauts to explore larger areas of the moon's surface. These electric vehicles were used during the Apollo 15, 16, and 17 missions, providing greater mobility for astronauts. The Apollo missions brought back approximately 382 kilograms, 842 pounds, of moon rocks and soil samples. These samples have been studied extensively and have provided valuable insights into the Moon's geological history and its relationship to Earth. These are just a few facts about the Moon. It continues to captivate scientists and astronomers, and ongoing research and exploration are deepening our understanding of our closest celestial neighbor. I hope you enjoy watching. Don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to Fun Facts Online channel for more fun facts. Thanks for watching.